Cobalt-60 is an artificial radioisotope and is produced from a stable isotope called Cobalt-59. It is produced through neutron activation in a nuclear reactor. This basically means that through the process of becoming Cobalt-60, Cobalt-59 absorbs a neutron to become the artificial radioisotope. Cobalt-60 produces gamma radiation. Gamma has the highest frequency but the smallest wavelength. It is the outermost wave on the electromagnetic spectrum. Gamma rays are created by the outburst of the hottest objects in space, such as supernovas, neutron stars and pulses. It has multiple uses such as destroying cancerous cells and irradiating food, giving them a longer shelf life. Gamma rays have no mass but travel as fast as the speed of light. Through gamma radiation, cobalt-60 is used to kill cancerous cells and sterilise medical equipment. As a result of its position, it easily avoids harming healthy organs or tissues in the body. Cobalt-60 destroys cancer cells by ionising the DNA. The damaged DNA causes the cell to die during cell division. A commonly used method for cobalt-60 is gamma knife therapy. The patient lies down on a bench while the doctor supplies an anaesthetic to make their body feel senseless. A frame that has 200 beams of gamma rays surrounds the head of the patient. The gamma radiation eliminates the cancerous cells. This treatment may take minutes or hours depending on the size of the tumour. Once the treatment is completed, the patient can return to his or her daily activities. Some benefits of using Cobalt-60 are Its radiation emission levels are relatively low, which means exposure to this radioisotope is harmless. The cost of using this radioisotope is relatively affordable. When used in treatment for cancer, it focuses on destroying the cancerous cells without destroying surrounding organs or tissues. It has a half-life of approximately 5.27 years. It will take this many years for it to decay, which means it can be stored for a while before use. Problems associated with using Cobalt-60 are it leaves the human body through waste, however the remaining can be absorbed in the liver, bones or kidneys, which may lead to cancers. It can only be used to treat cancer once in a person's lifetime, as it can be dangerous if exposed to more than once. Cobalt-60 is dangerously radioactive when it decays. The benefit of using Cobalt-60 outweighs the problems associated with its different uses. This particular radioisotope has relatively low radiation emission levels. If a person is directly in contact with the radioisotope, it will not have a negative effect on their health, though rarely would Cobalt-60 affect oneself. Cobalt-60 focuses on eradicating the cancerous cells rather than the healthier cells and tissue which surround the cancerous part of the body. The half-life of Cobalt-60 is 5.27 years. This will allow a longer travel time if the radioisotope is needed for medical uses overseas. Cobalt-60 is at its worst when it decays. A solution to this issue is that it can be stored in a lead container to prevent it from contaminating the environment and the health of humans. Thank you.